Breaking news just came in that the patriarch of the Jackson family just passed away a few about a few minutes ago. Probably it was announced about almost an hour ago. Um, the first person that I saw talk about it was Lisa Cabrera because the notification came through um, on my Mac and I was able to see it. And I knew for a while that Joe Jackson was sick because I believe when Janet was on tour, uh, I think she had took some time off during her rehearsals when her tour had got started, her State of the World tour had got started to go be with him because I think he had got sick overseas or something like that. And, you know, his health wasn't really the best since then. And in the last couple of days, probably within the last week, I had heard that he was suffering from a terminal illness. And I believe it was a form of cancer. And the reason why I didn't do a video is because I knew that whenever I do a video about him, it was going to be most likely talking about his passing because I knew he didn't have long to live. Like he was literally at the gone any day uh, at that gone any day stage. Like that's how bad his health had gotten. But you could look over the years and tell that Joe Jackson had was getting sick over the over the times and that his health was declining. But this man lived a pretty interesting life. I mean, he was eight, he has he's eighty nine years old. That's a long time to live. That's a really long time to live. And despite what people were saying about Joe Jackson and how he was portrayed in the film that you know the Jackson American Dream film about how he was portrayed and whatnot. You can't take away the fact that the guy and the man was a very good father to all of his kids. He definitely pushed for his kids to be and strive for success, which they did become extremely successful. If it wasn't for Joe Jackson, we wouldn't have had the king of music, uh, Michael Jackson. We wouldn't have his daughter, Janet Jackson, as well as the other Jacksons, because in a way, all of the Jacksons had talent in their own way. Latoya, hers could be, it was a little bit questionable, but, but, but nonetheless, this man definitely paved the way to get his, his family up out of Gary, Indiana and into the spotlight without taking away the spotlight from them. Like he had no problem playing, being in the background, but he definitely had some control of his kids, uh, um, success to an extent. Now, can I sit here and say that I agree with everything that Joe Jackson did based on the stories I've heard? No, he had flaws like many other people have flaws, but you can't take away the fact that the guy was a damn good father to his kids. Like that's a lot of kids they had him and Catherine and he pushed them to be better because you know, Joseph Jackson was the musician himself. So he, so that family has a big musical background from him on his side. He used to be in a band. He used to sing. And he pushed his kids to be the same and even Sir Pitt, especially Michael. So despite, you know, all the things that we have heard about uh, him and, you know, the abuse and everything like that, because I'm sure it's kids that go through way worse. This man definitely put his family on to become one of the not only most successful groups of all time or one of the most successful families of all time, but he helped create a dynasty. How many people today can you say have, are doing that? Not many, if any at all. And he did it at a time when you had to have talent. Like you literally had to know what you was doing. And this guy knew what he was doing. He knew how to mold his kids. Now, once they started to break away from him, what happened after that, that's their business. But it still doesn't take away the fact that this guy definitely was a good father to his kids to the best of his abilities. Like I said, he had flaws just like everyone else. And I had to come to grips and learn that after seeing that movie, because, you know, after that seeing that movie, a lot of people felt a certain type of way about Joe Jackson. I won't be surprised if some people saying, I'm glad that he's gone because he beat his kids and everything like that. But they will take into account that it was, if it wasn't for him disciplining his kids and being a damn good, stern father, we wouldn't have Michael and Janet and the Jackson Five and the Jacksons. We wouldn't have that. So you definitely have to take into consideration the good thing, that, good that he did do while he was here throughout his life. 
But my condolences go out to the family, you know, friends and associates to Joe Jackson and Catherine Jackson, Janet Jackson, Rebe, the Toya, uh, who else? Marlon, Tito, Jackie, Jermaine. And, you know, it's, it's, I think I said, did I say Rebe? I'm not sure if I said, mentioned her, but if I didn't, Rebe Jackson. It's crazy. We, Michael, his, his death anniversary was on June 25th. Now his dad passed two days later, June 27th. First, we lose one of the biggest entertainers the world probably ever knew. And now we probably lost one of the, I guess you can say one of the biggest factors into Michael and his family becoming who they are. It's, it's just crazy. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.